Because if you pray for weekly bread, then you feel like you don't need me until that week is up. And some people who don't pray every day could raise their hand right now and well, don't, you won't do it. I know you won't. <laughs> but, you, but you know you could. You know you could. You know you could. Some of us pray from crisis to crisis. Uh -huh. And so he said, no, pray for daily, for daily bread. It's, 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 it's what God told, told Moses. He said, no, I'm, I'm, before I bring you into the promised land, I'm going to teach you how to be in the promise while you're still in the wilderness. I wish I had more time, but I'm not going to take it. I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm just telling you. Uh, God said, I want you to know how to, how to live a promise out in the wilderness. So he said, now the way you live your promise out in the wilderness is every day you get up, there's going to be mountains from heaven. I'm going to handle that. I'm going to handle that. Uh, uh, when they got tired of eating manna, he said, okay, well, manna in the morning and, 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 and quail at night, every day. Every day you're going to get up there, going to be manna in the morning, every night there's going to be quail. You're going to get bread in the morning and, 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 and meat at night. You, you, your carbohydrates in the morning, your protein at night, because you're not supposed to mix your proteins at night. Never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> your, your carbohydrates in the morning, your proteins at, at, at night. He said, now, but before I bring you into the promised land, while you're in the wilderness, I want you to get comfortable that the way I'm going to take care of you is your proteins at night and your carbohydrates in the morning. Uh, uh, now, 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 what you're going to want to do, this is what God said to the people. He said, now what you're going to want to do, your temptation is, you, you're going to see me give you matter every morning. And then something's going to get in your spirit and you're going to say, uh, well, what if you don't give me matter tomorrow? Y'all see this? Yeah. He said, I'm going to give you manna every morning. You're going to see me take care of you every morning. But, in, but, but one day you're going to wake up feeling self-sufficient. And you're going to say, what if God don't take care of me? He says, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gather up enough manna in case our relationship get rocky. You do something that, that I won't want. And then you can say, well, until I get back right with God, I, I got my own stuff over here. So he said, now, now, now don't, uh, don't gather it up. Don't, don't save anything. Uh, uh, get enough for the day and the day only, because if you get for tomorrow, you won't pray tomorrow. If you get self-sufficient, you won't depend on me tomorrow. He said, now what I'm going to do, and for you, for, for, for y'all who've been through this, I'm going to tell you why. You're going to get mad at me, but I'm just preaching the word. Because uh, uh, he said, now, if you do it, if you do it, if you gather it up, then the next day when you go and open up your bag that I told you not to gather, he said, instead of manna, you're going to have maggots. Because I'll send the maggots to eat up the manna if you gather the manna so that you can have dependency away from me. That's all he says now. The, now the issue is not, the issue is not, the issue is not that you can't have two, 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 two days worth of bread. The issue is when you get enough bread that you think, now, now I can do my thing. Now I can make my choices. Now I don't need God telling me what to do because I got enough to make it through. Now when you gather up, you didn't say consciously that I'm going to do this so I don't have to pray tomorrow. You just noticed that you had enough when you were unemployed to pray for a job, but every day you woke up when you had a job, you didn't thank God for a job. When you were feeling and lonely, you prayed for a spot. But then when God gave you a spot, you didn't wake up every morning thanking God that you had a spot. And so he said now, when I send the maggots, I'm not sending the maggots because I don't want you to have no job. I'm not sitting in the maggots because I want you all alone. I'm, I'm not sitting in the maggots because I don't want you to have nice clothes. I'm not sitting, sitting in the maggots because I don't want you to drive a nice car. I'm not, I'm not sitting in the maggots so that you... Uh, I'm sitting in the maggots because that's the only time... Because you don't... You, come on now, come on now. Come on now, you missed... You missed them. 
you gathered up, you gathered up an extra day mountain. Everybody else got up and got mountain in the morning because they needed that mountain to last the rest of the day. You had mountain. So you didn't get up. You passed up that day. Now you go to your bag and you open up your bag expecting mountain and it's still a matter you got magic. Now tell me you ain't gonna pray.